Hello and welcome to this ECC Libraries video tutorial on Literature Resource Center. Literature Resource Center is a great database if you're looking for biographical information on authors or criticisms of their work. So we're going to give you the basics of this particular database today. There's another database that's called Literary Reference Center. Um, we'll cover that in another uh, video, but make sure you are in Literature Resource Center. And you can find that from our databases page on the ECC Libraries um, homepage. So this is the homepage here. Uh, you know, gives you some featured information on, on it when you open it up. We're going to concentrate on doing a couple searches here today uh, to give you some good basic information on how to do some research. Um, so if we look at the top of the screen, uh, one thing I'll mention here briefly, the advanced option. We'll come back to that at the end of the video for a quick uh, little uh, trick that you can use. Um, you can always click on bookmark to any search you do that uh, you want to save for later. You click on bookmark and you can go ahead and copy the URL, email it to yourself and you'll have a quick way to get back to your work. And under more there's more tools here that you can go ahead and use in this database. If you need help with these types of things just come into ECC libraries and we'll help you out. But we're going to concentrate on searching. You can, there are different options to search, you know, buy a per, uh, information about a person or uh, the name of a work. What I suggest you do is just do a, a keyword search. Uh, our first example here is we're going to do, uh, see, we're going to look for information, biographical information on Alice Walker. So if I start typing in her name, what's kind of cool is it gives me a bunch of uh, matches below it. If you see that particular, uh, what you're looking for, you could always click on it and then click on the search uh, magnifying glass here, the search button. And we have done a search for information uh, that is uh, includes Alice Walker. So right away it gives us, you know, link to a biography. If you scroll down, you'll see a lot of information, literature criticism, right? So criticism about her works, uh, biographical information, uh, overviews of the work. Um, so uh, a lot of great information in here. The, the two things we're going to concentrate on in this video is biographical information and then also uh, literature criticism. So at any time I could click on biographies to see all 43 biographies that uh, have something to do with Alice Walker. Um, let me show you over on the right side here you could limit your search real nicely. You know once again 43 biographies. If I click on that it's going to just show me uh, the biographical information only that's in this database. So if I scroll through I see different uh, articles about her and her life in this case. Notice there's a couple articles here, you know, titled Evelyn White and Lorna Goodison. So those are authors that probably were influenced by Alice Walker. Uh, if you truly just wanted articles that were about that particular uh, person you were interested in, Alice Walker in this type, if you look over to the right, it says limit search by, and then you could click on uh, her name here, a person about uh, category, and then you're going to get 11 articles that uh, specifically talk in depth about Alice Walker. So anytime you're interested in uh, reading one of these articles or printing it out, just click on the name of the article. It will come up, uh, as you can see here. In this case, it's giving you uh, um, career information, uh, her works, and then when you get down a little further in this particular article, you will get uh, a bunch of her biographical information in prose form here. Uh, if I scroll back up to the top of the screen, a couple of things you're going to want to make note of. Citation tools, if you click on that, this is where you can go ahead and grab the MLA format, MLA 7, uh, APA, whatever it is. They have these uh, export, these uh, tools here that you can go ahead and use. Uh, if you don't know how to use those, you could always come to the ECC library and we can help you with those. But what I usually do is I'll just kind of highlight the citation and then I'll copy it and then I'll paste it into a Word document so I have a nice list of my citations. If you need help with your citations, you could always come into the library. We have a lot of different types of handouts for you. And then go to any writing lab. Uh, at ECC and they'll help you out with your uh, writing your paper and then your citations of course. You could print it out. What's nice about printing out the work at the end of the print uh, copy of this there'll be a nice MLA 8 format printed out for you there too. Um, let's do another uh, search here. This time we're going to search for an actual work. So I'm going to do uh, Love Song of J. Uh, Alfred Prufock. That is a poem. Notice there's no novels, poems, short stories, so all different types of works that are in here. Um, if you see a match for what you're looking for, click on it. If not, type in the entire name of the work and click on uh, the search. And if you still have trouble, you could always come into the library, contact the library, and we'll help you out. Um, we click on search then. 
Same sort of thing, you're going to get a big list. This is all the criticisms of this particular work, right? So if I scroll down here, I'm going to see all this information about uh, this particular work. Little tip I'll give you, last thing I'll show you here. If you do click on the advanced search here at the top of the screen, um, you could put in limiters for time. Uh, that's one of the options here. Okay. The one I want to show you here, though, is the one that has peer-reviewed journals. So if I click on that, a lot of times your instructor will say you need to have scholarly articles for this particular paper. So you could always click on peer-reviewed journals. Peer-reviewed equals scholarly. And then I could do the same search if I wanted to here um, for, that, for that particular poem. And then I do a search. Now remember we had, I don't know, quite a few... Uh, that came up this time only 13 that are coming up that are uh, what are considered peer review the same thing you just click on the article name and you can go ahead and and read the article print it out that type of thing so that's it that's your brief tutorial on literature resource center any questions on it uh, come into the libraries contact us by phone or by email or by text we'll be happy to help you out thanks for watching